welcome back to more... Oh! Our head's only pounding and shaking. Well, that's good. I was gonna say, we're welcome back to more dot 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 action. But we're in decent shape now. Ah, here we go. Finally, something I can... Uh, I want to use the hammer. Somehow I don't imagine I'm going to find a lot of tools in the jail. Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no! Oh, tell! I'll never tell you! You're just making things worse. Look, this is no sure. place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors okay, await down that there. That sounds good. torches out. Dick. Oh, nice. Thank goodness. And we're not insane at all anymore. dark? Oh, yeah, it's dark. Um, always right. There is it always left. Can't remember. Well, seems like the way we're supposed to go. Let's go the other way real quick. Because the opposite of the way you're supposed to go, it usually has swag. Or nothing. Nothing is also good. Nothing is better than a bad guy. Let us follow the steps of the little girl. Go away, Rock. Huh, pretty well lit down here. Kitchen. I don't think I want to go to the kitchen right now. <laughs> Not in this place. It won't budge. Oh, that's the other side of the barred door. Ooh, so we know there's a baddie down here. I think he went that way. So I guess we're going to go to the kitchen, folks. Let's see what's, what's being served at the prison. Could it be people? Note. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. Mm. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Sorry about that. I had a little cherry coke go the wrong way. Okay. So we're in the kitchen. I figured out these are apples. If it's not readily apparent. Oil. Good, good. A bucket of green. Barrel of green. Ah. Well, duh. Why'd you put your hand in it, stupid? 
piggy. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. Just touching the bucket hurts. Well, damn. Neat. Is there something I can put it in? Wait a second. I bet there is. Oh, that. Oh, right. We blew my little bucket up. But a glass container is an idea. Oh, okay, good. Bottleneck's too narrow for the flask to be filled without spilling acid. Well, this surely isn't going to work then. Yeah, so we need to find a good bottle type thing. And some tinderboxes. Okay, let's see. I don't think we're going to find it in here. I think we're going to have to go brave the rest of the prison. Hmm, okay. This does seem like a safe area. I wouldn't like that. That, because we still got loads of tinder boxes. We're gonna try this and hope for the best, folks. Hopefully, we'll just wander around and leave. Nope, he knew exactly where we were. Oh well. Kind of. He seems vaguely confused as to where we are. Let's go and use our loudnum and make a make a break for it. Nope. 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 Oh. He was just screwing with us. Oh boy. Okay, so well we know he's there now. Where the hell are we now? The torches better still be lit. What happened to her? Weird. So my loudness used up. Dang it. So I guess we can go back to looking for a glass jar of some sort. Okay. So well, he seems to be gone. That's good. Of course, we don't even know what we need the acid for. Hopefully we'll find that out in short order. Nothing else, there's more lamp oil. Hey, we didn't immediately alert one to our presence, guys. Uh oh. That's not good. Brain is not happy. 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Mm -hmm. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match Well, it is a castle. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. 
Alexander seems pleased by my presence. Hmm. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Weird. Why did Alexander want me here? Come on, Daniel, get up. Get up. Damn it, man, get up. Oh, lordy. Oh, crap. Crap on us. He escaped. Where is he now? I'm not hiding across the hallway. That's for damn sure. Looks like he wandered off. Nothing in here. Huh. Suck. I think that was just one of those doors you really shouldn't open. Kinds of nifty stuff in here. Like a pitcher. And oil. Oil that we should use. <clears throat> More tinder boxes. Back up to 38. Good, 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 good. Okay, so aside from the death thing, I think we're doing pretty good. Can we hide in here? No. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video here, because this is as good a stopping place as any for right now. And I'm going to check a few things, and we'll be back, folks. Uh, I hope to... I'm going to be playing all day, so I hope everyone enjoys, and thank you very much for watching.